Queen's Gambit Accepted, Classical, Rubinstein Variation, 7, NC68. NC3. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. The end game was sloppy, but White got the better of it. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, gains more control over the e5 square, and strengthens the d4 pawn. d5 gains space in the center and controls the e4 and c4 squares. Dxc4 captures the c4 pawn and opens up the center. e3 defends the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to attack the c4 pawn. e6 controls the d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Bxc4 captures the c4 pawn, and develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls d5. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. A6 controls the b5 square and prepares the b5 pawn push. A4 takes space on the queen side and prevents the b5 pawn push. And c6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the pawn on d4. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is an equal trade. Takes back. It is the last book move. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is best. This reveals an attack on a bishop. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to win a bishop. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a mistake. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Takes back. It is best. This pins a rook to the king. This is the only good move. It is best. This protects an underdefended knight that is under attack. It is best. This wins a bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores a better way to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable knight. It is a miss. Recaptures. It is best. Capturing that knight wins material. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to win material. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This wins material. It is excellent. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a mistake. This wins material. It is good. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. 
this overlooks a better way to win material. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. That rook was free for the taking. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and black is worse. It is best. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This defends the attacked bishop. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. This misses the chance to get a more equal position. It is a miss. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. This loses a pawn. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it.